Here. Um, are you here for the play or the interview? Yeah. Oh, the interview, of course. How silly of me. They all are. Well, um, while you're waiting, uh, please enjoy the show that we have for you. It is called Hard Candy, written by Jonathan Wren and directed by Ryan Toy. Enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> Candy? Sure. So, why do you wish to work here at Banff Enterprises? Well, I wanted to see what working is all about. I've never had a job before, and I could really use the experience. I see. Guys gotta start somewhere, right? Yes, yes. Um, Linda, could you please bring in the applicant's resume? Absolutely, sir. Right away. So, what type of hours were you looking for? Well, I was thinking I could work about ten hours a week. Me and the girlfriend go out a lot, so I don't really have time to, you know, work. Uh huh. Well, maybe I could bump it up to 11, but I'd have to run up my Francine first. Well, to tell you the truth, I don't think we have any room here for an employee with such <coughs> inflexibility. I'm sorry. But let's finish up the interview, just to make it official. Let's see here. You have no previous work experience, no references. You attended Idaho State? No way. You've heard of it? Heard of it? I was a starting quarterback for the fight and spuds. I played tight end. You're kidding me. Hey, were you... Nah, never mind. What? No, it was only for an elite few on the team. I think I know what you're getting at. Less thinking. And more drinking. Get the ladies winking! Oh! <laughs> I can't believe you were in Kappa Kappa Zeta! I can't believe you were in Kappa Kappa Zeta! Oh, oh, did they make you do the thing with the alpaca and the chocolate hey, sauce? Hey, the calzone! Yes! <laughs> you're pulling my leg! Oh, oh! Were you a member of the No Pants Council? Don't tell me you were! Chairman of the board! Me too! Man! You know, I knew I'd seen your face somewhere. They had pictures of you all over the walls back at the house. Wait a minute! You're the guy behind the biggest prank in Zeta history! My reputation precedes me. How on earth do you fill an entire Ford F-150 with mustard? <laughs> Trade secrets, my son. You're a legend. <laughs> Thank you. You know, this is great. I had interviews lined up for the rest of the day. Forget that. You're hired. Yeah! <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh, uh. position, the real question should be, how could Banff Enterprises afford not to hire me? <laughs> really now? Well, we'll just have to see about that. Uh, Linda, could you please send in the applicant's resume? One moment, please. Vastly overqualified, you say. How many degrees do you have? Eleven. Satisfactory. And what schools did you attend? Highlights include Princeton undergrad, Harvard Law, and then for fun, Stanford Med. <laughs> Says here you're fluent in 47 languages, is that so? Yes. Parlez-vous français? Bien sûr. Sprechen Sie Deutsch? Ja. Ab mit da vrit vrit? Beta. Wie hui hu zen zan wen me? No highway. Ode ude ik te ik zwe atten we? Certainly say ode. Wake a mish. I suppose you're not that bright after all. Thank you. 
We're here tying. Tu madres, tu no va cosa. What was that? Nothing. No, what language were you speaking? Spanish. I was saying something in Spanish. Spanish. <laughs> yeah, Spanish. Wait, I see what you're trying to pull here. So tell me, where's the so-called Spanish of your spoken? Um, Latin America? <laughs> nice try. But in Latin America, they speak a little language called Latin. <laughs> that is so patently false. Is it? <laughs> okay, they speak Spanish in Spain. Spain. And where in your imagination might one find this Spain? Ha! Huh! Spain! Hiding there right next to Andorra! Who knew? Well, we here at Banff Enterprises would be downright stupid to reject someone with such terrific geography skills. You're hired. Oh, and by the way, Well, I was recently fired. I mean, I recently quit my old job. And I thought this would be a great place for a fresh start. Uh huh. Linda, would you please bring in the applicant's resume? Yes, ma'am. So, what kind of work experience do you have? Well, I babysat for three years. Uh. But I am good with numbers. I see. <laughs> Could you please elaborate? Uh, I'm very good with numbers. <laughs> Excellent. Well, it says here that you worked for three years at a pizza palace. <laughs> yeah. Manager. Assistant dishwasher. <laughs> How unfortunate. So, what kind of hours were you hoping to work? Well, I was thinking we could start somewhere around 30 a week. 30? Wouldn't you want to work rather, say, 500? Hours? 500. Yes, 500. <laughs> 500. Wonderful! You know, flexibility is an indispensable quality here as an employee. Do you happen to have the time? Uh, yeah, it's a quarter. <clears throat> <laughs> it's a quarter past ten. And what kind of a salary were you hoping to get? Well, I was thinking maybe we could start somewhere. Is around. it hot in here? <laughs> maybe a little. I. Certainly thought so. <laughs> you know, it's weird. Maintenance should have fixed that weeks ago. I wonder what's holding them up. <laughs> <laughs> the maintenance guys should really buckle down on that. <laughs> They wear nice belts. <laughs> Great! Well, this inter- 
interview has been quite informative. You're obviously a qualified applicant. Your wife would be proud. How'd you know? I'm sorry. Never mind. Well, I believe that I have made my decision. Really? And? <coughs> well, I think you would make a wonderful addition to our workforce. Yes! <laughs> but we could never, ever hire somebody who dresses so inappropriately. Please! I need this job. What more could I possibly have to offer? So tell me, how close are you to your firstborn? <laughs> That you know I'll be an invaluable addition to your staff. So, what do you say? I don't this think is a chance of a lifetime. But you can't just. I'll sign a 200 plus benefits and we'll work our way from there. You can't just. You drive a hard bargain. I'll take 250, but I won't go any higher. It <laughs> sounds reasonable to me. I'm hired. You're the applicant. You can't do that. I can't do what? Say you're hired. Say what? Your. Higher. I am fantastic! <laughs> <laughs> Understand you. Once you begin to understand, you will understand. <laughs> understand. Uh, yes, Linda, could you please bring in the applicant's resume? Yeah. <laughs> what have we here? Look at the watch move back and forth. What are you doing? You are getting sleepy. Okay. I <laughs> This is absurd. I when I snap my fingers, you will extend your right arm towards the woman across from you. Okay, that's it. I'm calling. And when a hand grasps yours, you will shake it vertically and say the words, you are hired to the woman. <laughs> um, Linda, could you... Matt! Please? 
You are an idiot. <laughs> now! Now! <laughs> Give it up, lady, and get out of my office. <laughs> Screw it! It's time for plan B. Linda, I crave your tender touch. <laughs> Linda? Linda, no! Linda, I'm a very bad. Linda, please! Smile, sucker! Linda, no! <laughs> Stand! Stand about proper posture! They're about making an employee rape or anything, sir! A uh, hard candy? No, thank you, sir! I only consume dried meat, sir! Uh, Linda, would you please bring in the applicant's resume? So, why do you wish to work here at Banff Enterprises? My last mission is incomplete without assisting mankind in every possible situation, sir! And how many hours were you hoping to work? I will toil hour by hour, day by day, week by week, without breaks if necessary, sir! It is my duty to serve you whenever my service is needed, sir! And how about salary? If you choose to pay for my services, that is your prerogative, sir! I will accept any pay you decide to give, but I'm willing to work completely free of charge if that is your decision, sir! Army for eight years and then attended West Point and then got your doctorate at MIT. Is that so? Yes, sir! There's no fraudulent material included in my resume, sir! You know, this is quite impressive, but let me get something straight, if I may. You are willing to work non stop, without pay, for as long as I choose? Your wish is my command, sir! Unfortunately, I don't think you're a good fit here at Banff Enterprises. I'm terribly sorry. I accept your decision with the utmost dignity, sir! But there is a chance that we may have some use for you later on. I'm willing to stand here until that decision is made, sir! If you insist. Linda, would you please send in the next applicant? <laughs> Please, um, have a seat. So? A hot candy? Yeah. So, why do you wish to work here at Vamp Enterprises? Oh, okay. Well, I was thinking I should get a job so I can get some money. I'd throw a party in my garage. Ah. What, is that not cool? Oh, on the contrary, it is very cool indeed. Our figures have shown that we need to cater to a younger demographic. And your youthful, small-minded, apathetic worthlessness is exactly what we've been waiting for. Welcome aboard. <laughs> No. <laughs> 
Hard candy? I'm sure. Why do you wish to work here at Banff Enterprises? Well, I saw your ad in the newspaper. Will you speak up? I can't hear a word you're saying. I'm sorry. And don't apologize. Contrition is for the spineless. I'm sorry. Are you listening to a word I'm saying? Yes, sir. Linda, send in the applicant's resume. Now, how flexible are you with hours? We're looking for a hard-working, full-time employee willing to work plenty of overtime. Church on Sundays. I was thinking Saturday mornings from 9 to 12. Just Saturdays? From 9 to 12. In the afternoons, I have to. No flexibility whatsoever. I may be able to work some Friday. Linda, where is that resume I asked for? <laughs> oh, I see. You have no resume. But That's I... fine. We'll just spend more of my valuable time getting information that could have been relayed to me in mere seconds. But I... Moving on. Why do you feel you are suitable for this position? Well, I work well with people. I make good grades. You want money to splurge at Bath and Body Works. <laughs> what? Fess up. You don't want to work here for the job experience. Hey, I have that's enough. That's not true. I do want to work here for the experience. I need to learn how to. Are you telling me you don't care about money? Well, money always helps. That's all I need to hear. But. While we're on the topic of money, and since this interview should be ending any moment now, I have one final question for you. What kind of compensation were you hoping for? Well, I was thinking maybe around... Spit it out! Minimum wage. Five dollars an hour. Five dollars an hour. <laughs> Minimum wage! Who do you think I am to pay you? Promotion? I... I don't know what to say. I... Just interview me. Okay. Linda, would you please send... <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see here. What kind of work experience do you have? I have worked at Bamp Enterprises my entire life. Entire life. <laughs> okay, any other jobs? <laughs> None. Okay, well, I hate to tell you this, Linda, but that only hurts your chances of a promotion. Does it? Yes. Linda, I don't understand. Of all people, I would think that you would be the one most aware of our strict hiring policy. The same goes for promotions. So, seniority means nothing to you? Yes. Linda, you only have one job's worth of experience. It's just not enough. Okay. I'm glad we talked about this. Uh, now, why don't you just go back to your desk and collate something? <laughs> oh, where are my manners? Hard candy? I would rather not. Fine. Feed yourself. More for me. Oh, and on your way out, can you please send in the next episode? <laughs> oh. I approached you for a promotion in the hopes that I could turn this business around, that I would eventually rise to power and turn this company from corrupt to honest. But now it's all too clear. 
The only way to kill the corruption is to fight fire with fire. So here's my proposal. Either you hire me right now, or I won't save your life. Yes, I resort to a threat, but I can guarantee that it will be the absolute final crooked deed at Banff Enterprises. So, am I hired? Yes or no? I'll take that as a yes. Thank <laughs> you.